Hey guys, welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel where we cover all things crypto from the perspective of a miner. So today's video got some pretty good updates from Bitmain. So one is a new firmware upgrade that's going to increase the efficiency. The other being a new miner, new Bitcoin miner from Bitmain, um, the S19J+. Plus. So we're going to go over that real quick. It's not going to be a long one. It's going to go over everything quickly. Just wanted to keep you guys updated. So if you're interested, guys, stay tuned. So let's get right to it. Um, so they kind of teased this a few weeks ago. I think it was like the 13th is when they first kind of teased it. But when they teased it, it seemed like it was only going to be for the Hydro model, right? But we got a nice little surprise that as of, I think, yesterday, they announced that they were going to do it for the S19 Pros. And then now they also are doing it for the S19Js, right? So any of you guys with those, you now have a way to increase your efficiency. It's a new low power mode, which depending on your electrical could help you out, could put you into a point where you're maybe even a little bit profitable. But we're going to go over the, the specs, the profitability and what that's looking like. Um, so right here on the main page, this is just the S19 Pro that they're listing. But as we now know, it's also they also released one for the S19J Pro that 104 model. Um, so in here, they did tout this, and so far it is true. So this isn't something super new though, right? For those of you guys who have, especially the older models, uh, this has been possible through brains, right? There's other overclocking software. That was initially what a lot of people used it for initially, was back in the, when things were good, they were using it to overclock, but they also have the ability to underclock. And they actually have had pretty much the same efficiency numbers Starting way back. The drawback, though, was that this was only usable on the older control boards. So if any of you guys got a more recent one, anything with like an AM logic board, you weren't able to do these things, right? So that's one big advantage to getting it through Bitmain, through their firmware, is that for those of you with the AM logic boards, you now don't have to buy a whole new control board and then get third-party software on there. You're actually able to do it directly through them. But again, this is only a underclock. This is not overclocking it's not like opening things up for you to like mess with it this is just a low power mode is essentially all it is so if you're still looking at overclocking this is still not going to help you um so want to look at that so the big thing so this is from i got this from twitter this is from at altair underscore tech so you can give them a follow no affiliation with them don't no idea who they were but they happen to post in the in bitmain's thing and they actually were the first ones to post up actual numbers um, so those of you guys who are subscribed I actually posted this up a day ago um, So here they are in case you haven't seen them for the 110 model the hash rate for the low power mode It's going to be 90.7 tera hash at 2300 watts So it's a nice little increase in efficiency going from 30.1 watts per tera hash to 25.5 um, So what that looks like on profitability standpoint Still not great um, so I'll put this in the calculator again. This is for if you have a 10 cent kilowatt hour Okay, so if you have cheaper electricity it might benefit you but for example for most people you're still at a loss here But let's say you have 8 cent kilowatt hour You're actually at a profit, right? So this is big news for any of you guys who have cheap electricity or even better news for these bigger farms, right? Although I'm sure that they've had access to this they're just making it available publicly, but I'm sure Bitmain has, you know, been testing this out or has given, you know, these bulk order guys access to this quite a while ago, but uh, it is profitable for them. Let's go even lower. A lot of these guys have like five cent. So look at that, 263. So looking good for them. Um, so let's go to the next one. This is the more interesting one to me because this is one that I had been looking at because of how cheap they are right now. The S19J Pro, the 104 terahash. So the low power mode for this brings it down to 82.4 terahash at 2080 watts. This is really interesting, right? Having such a low number there. Um, so let's look at that profitability. And so a little bit better, right? At 10 cent kilowatt hour, negative 7 cents. But again, any you guys are down to like 8 cents, making a buck for these big guys, 243, right? Not bad, not bad at all. Um, so for most of us though, especially at home miners, still not really going to benefit us, but it does give us an option if, you know, we do get better price action, 
right? Let's say we get a higher low, then maybe we can be profitable, especially considering the prices, right? So this is interesting. Um, I don't think they necessarily did it out of their goodwill. It's just a good way for them to clear inventory, right? I'm sure a lot of these, you know, big miners, miners that have been canceling orders, I'm sure they have a surplus of miners and this is one good way to begin to offload them, right? Um, in the future, we'll see if they allow overclock. We'll see what they do. I highly doubt it, but this is a good way to sell miners. Um, what I'd be most interested in, though, is if they release it for the XP, right? Number one, that'll give us insight as to how they're selling. For example, if they don't release a more efficient mode for the XP, then we know they're selling well. Chances are prices may not drop. But if they do release one here in the next coming days, which is possible because it looks like they've been dropping one a day, um, that would be interesting to see. Because right now they're profitable, but barely, right? But having this mode, you may be able to, you know, sneak out a few more uh, profits there. Um, one other cool thing is that it does give you the option to run, especially for at-home miners, if you're limited on your electrical panel, right? So the fact that this guy can go down at about 2,100 watts and now gives you the option to run one, let's, let's say, at full speed and the other at this reduced speed. Right, because previously, if you have a 30 amp circuit, if you have two of them at 3,000, you're going to overload it. You can't do it. Right, you're going to be at over 6,000 watts. If we follow the 20% rule, we don't want to go over like 5,600 watts. So this gives you the option to run one at full speed. Let's say it's at 3,200 watts, and then this other guy at this 2,100 brings you at like 5,300 watts or so. So that does give you the ability to increase the amount of miners you can have if that's your situation. Right. So like me personally, I have about three 30 amp circuits, may add a fourth, but three is what I'm comfortable with. Um, so it does get flexibility there, right? Not really looking at the J's though, even though the prices are tempting, right? We'll take a quick peek at the prices. Um, so this is a price sheet from Unistar Miner. I have no affiliation with them, never purchased from them, never used them. It's just one that I use to reference prices, right? Typically a lot of these guys who are like these smaller vendors, who have these price sheets, they have more, they're more up to date with the current price trends. Typically, if you see a downtrend, they're gonna be the first ones and then it'll go to these bigger guys, to like the BT miners, AK miners, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so again, I just use them for this info, no affiliation, never use them, can't give recommendations because again, I have zero affiliation with them. Um, so they're not the only ones that do these price sheets. If you go on Telegram, any of those, you're gonna see all these guys who have theirs. And I just happen to use theirs because they update quickly. They're on Twitter. So I just use them as reference. But right now we can currently see the S19J Pros, the 104s are about, they're under 1500 right now, right? So that does kind of give you an idea where things are at. Because um, this does kind of change the game. Because again, like I said, the big advantage here is for those of you with those AM logic boards, right? Because you, you were limited because with these things, you, you were not able to do it. Right, but now with this firmware directly through them, you are now able to do that. Right, so for those of you who have cheap power, this will benefit you. But for those of you guys regular residential rate, you're still going to be at a loss. So, not really helping you there. But it is something that's cool, something to keep in mind. Um, but again, looking forward to see if they release something for the XP. If they did something for the XP, then that may seal the deal because I have room for one more big miner, and I'm debating on what to do there. Because I'm trying to see if the prices will go lower on the XPs. It's it's hard to say. To me, they're the ones that have the most headwind to possibly fall a little bit more. Considering the price difference between the J Pros being at $1,500. And the XPs are in like the $4,500 range for the lower end one. For that 134 tera hash. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Um, so let's go to the other big news. And this is for the S19J Pro Plus. So... Not a whole lot different. Okay, so let's look at the stats real quick. 122 terahash, 3,355 watts, 27.5 joules per terahash. Um, so right off the bat, not super impressive, but again, it's not meant to compete with the XP. This is an upgraded version of the J Pro or of the J. It's hard to say if it's like refurb stuff, anything like that. But again, the, the main thing with this that they're talking about in the video is the, the connection point. Is that it's going to be more versatile. For us at home miners, this doesn't mean anything, 
right? So maybe if you have a use case for that, that'll benefit you. The only thing to me that would be attractive with this is if the price is good, right? But even then though, looking at the efficiency numbers, let's throw it in the calculator real quick. Um, you're still at a loss, right? The 122 terahash, 3355 watts, 10 cent kilowatt hour, you're still at a loss. So not impressive. Um, what may be impressive though is the price, but again, this is probably going to be something that's going to appeal to these bigger farms or for those of you guys with hosting services, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so overall, kind of a disappointment. But on the plus side, it shows you that there may be not a whole lot of development going on in that world. So if you're thinking about getting XP, maybe longevity wise, because that's my main concern with the XP is if how long will it be for a newer model to come out, right? Like when is the S20 or the S21 going to come out? Will it, well, are they going to hold off onto it until the bear market? My guess is most likely yes. But reality, we don't know. That's the gamble we're taking. So if these XP prices come down just a little bit more, maybe that's enticing enough for me to jump in. But but we'll see. But uh, yep, just wanted to give you guys that update on that Pro Plus. Um, let me know if you guys are thinking about getting any of these. If you guys are thinking about jumping on any of these S19J Pros. Especially considering, because these prices I gave you are new, right? I've been seeing uh, used ones, especially these. Never even really heard of these. And I never even realized that they made S19Js that were 88.5 terahash. But essentially, a lot of these are actually going in the sub $1,000 range already. So let me know if any of you guys are thinking, if any of you guys are tempted by it. Uh, let me know. So guys, please comment, like, and subscribe. Hopefully you got some good info here. And thank you for watching, guys. And I am out.